you guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're at one of my favorite parking lot locations because guess what? We finally have our hands on one. This is the all new 2022 IS 500 F Sport Performance. But before we get into this V8 powered sports sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. Lexus, it's that iconic brand that's been around since 1989, if you could believe that. That premium extension of Toyota, for 2022, we have the return of V8 power to the IS platform. Now, of course, we've already brought to you the redesigned IS350 and 350 F Sport, but this IS500 F Sport performance kind of bridges the gap between the IS350 and, of course, the ISF. Now, this is not a true F performance branded vehicle, but Lexus says that this is the step that they're going to bring more performance and that there will be even more above the model that you see. Now, in this compact performance sedan segment, there's a lot of competition, not only from those German Euro brands, but of course, from another brand that comes from Japan, Acura, with the TLX Type S. So what I wanna do is, I wanna specifically kinda compare this IS500 to the new TLX Type S and see really which one would be the right one for you to enjoy every single day, but also enjoy when the road gets twisty and it's time to turn up the wick. So let's go ahead, let's dive into our new IS500 F Sport Performance and see is it that sedan, that performance sports sedan you should be buying over the TLX Type S. Right off the bat, the styling. When we first saw the IS350, I fell in love with the styling and I think Lexus does a great job with their sedans and even, of course, their RC models. Now, starting at the front of the business, you're gonna get that great style to the headlight design. I like the way they shrunk the actual headlight housing. You have that signature LED daytime running lamp. We have our optional triple beam LED headlights, nice and bright. Everything else is smooth clean. Look at that nice hard edge running in to the front of the bumper here. Working our way down, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. You do have a functional side air curtain, but there is obviously some fake vent going on here. We are going to have to zonk that, but I do love the way it extends down. It is a sort of like metallic gloss black. And what I do like is obviously these pieces, these extensions are functional. So it's about giving us extra downforce and helping to move the air around the front of this IS500. Now, when we come across the center grill area, of course, you're gonna get that wide open spindle style grill. This is that signature design, just like the headlight housings and those daytime running lamps. This is another signature design of Lexus. You have a forward facing camera mounted nice and high up top. Of course, your Lexus badge. I love the way everything kind of just waterfalls down Full functionality here, of course, in this mid section. And you're also gonna get your corner, your inner corner brake cooling ducts. So we are gonna channel air to help cool the brakes, obviously bring things to the heat exchangers, the radiators and everything. And then of course, you're gonna have that lower lip that's molded perfectly into the front, but very, very aggressive and extra functionality, including if you'll notice, there's extra heat exchangers, you could see that bright silver lurking from behind the dark grill area there. That's something that's been brought for the extra performance of this vehicle specifically. Now, if you're gonna compare this to the TLX Type S, obviously beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I've always had a sweet spot for these Lexus sedans with the way the styling is. And it's sort of a mixed bag comparing the two because there is some non-functionality to the vents on the TLX, but I actually like the cleaner the way everything is integrated a little bit cleaner on this IS500. Now, when we get up on the hood, guess what? You have some bulge. Because we got V8 power underneath the hood, they gave us that nice power bulge. Everybody wants a bulge. You're getting it here. And they had to do that specifically because of that five liter V8 power plant. Love the way the body lines. Look at how everything kind of just rises up, stays nice and high, and goes towards the windshield. And I'm telling you right now, from behind the wheel, you could see that bulge very clearly. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with? 
wheel and tire setup. So you're gonna notice we have these inky multi-spoke wheels. This is a 19 inch wheel. Now, if you're comparing this to the TLX Type S, the Type S does come standard with 20 inch wheels, and then they even have an optional performance wheel package. Even though these are an inch smaller, I actually like the style of this wheel a lot better. And it's nice to see some silver wheels on vehicles. So many vehicles have black wheels. Nice to see the bright silver. Love that multi-spoke finish. Behind this wheel, which this wheel is eight and a half inches wide, 19 inches in diameter, eight and a half inches wide, you're gonna notice we have those large multi-piston calipers, nice gloss black with the Lexus script. And this vehicle comes with two-piece rotors. That shows the braking performance potential of this vehicle. Fully ventilated, of course, two-piece. That's gonna cut down on the rotating mass, but it's also gonna help aid with cooling. And then we do have adaptive dampers, all four corners. Everything has been specifically tuned for this vehicle. It's not like they took the IS350, ripped out the V6, and dropped in the V8, and that was it. We actually are getting that performance, and like I said, 19 by eight and a half up front. If you're wondering what's the tire size, they're actually 235s on the front. That's your width, 40 series sidewall. That's gonna quicken up the steering. This is rear wheel drive. So when you're comparing it to the TLX Type S, Type S is all wheel drive. This is rear wheel drive. We'll see how wide the wheels and tires are out back. But these are inky wheels, great brand for a performance sedan. Now, when we're going down the side, love the clean styling. No fake vents, nothing going on. You got your F-Sport badge. Like I said, this is a bridge gap. It's called the F-Sport Performance. There's gonna be more performance to come at the end of the bridge. Now, one thing I'm a little confused about is the use of the shiny chrome. So I am gonna zonk this. I wish they would've went with a nice dark chrome finish, but you have that combination of the gloss black with the body color matching, turn singles built in. Lexus does a great job on the style of these mirrors. They really have a nice style and a look, but the flow really shows that aero work that's been done into this car. Look at the body line coming off the fender, nice hard all the way down the side. On the lower end, you are gonna get that metallic gloss black side sill extension. Not only does it look sexy, but it is functional because remember, we're channeling the air. One thing you'll notice, you see how they didn't use the dark chrome here? They did use dark chrome finish top and bottom on the window treatment, and I think that was super smart, and that's what I was talking about. Put this material here as well. You do get a standard size sunroof, no panoramic sunroof. Working your way back, one of my favorite body lines, I love the sexiness of the fender. It almost flares out and comes into the rear. Love that flow and that design. And then when we're looking at the rear wheels, these are 19 by nine and a half. So you actually have a physically wider wheel. Of course, we're gonna get more rubber to meet the road. You're now looking at 265 on the width, 35 series sidewall, and that's gonna help get the power to the ground. Limited slip differential. A lot of the vehicles, you look at the Genesis G70, that would be another competitor to this. You look at the Kia Stinger GT, that's another one. They don't have limited slip diffs. This has a torsion limited slip diff that's gonna get the power to the ground. Rocket you off the corner. Let's rock it around the back. Look at the beautiful style that we got going on here. Very sexy, very seductive. The way they do the LED lighting, not only at the headlights, but the taillights, nice and bright. They kind of smoke it out a little bit, goes all the way across. You're gonna get a trunk mounted spoiler. Nothing too high, nothing too crazy, but it does give us extra downforce and it does look so damn good. Dropping all the way down, IS500 badge, look what they brought. They brought an F performance style exhaust. So you're gonna get that staggered exhaust. Normally that's only reserved for true F vehicles, but I like the way that they brought that staggered setup, really, really clean. That, sim that diffuser area in the center here, gonna help give us that great style also for channeling air underneath the vehicle. But while we go ahead, let's get to that big moment. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's see the V8 underneath the hood of this IS500. Right, guys, we got that power bulge hood open. You do have two hydraulic hood struts and something that you're not gonna see underneath the hood of the TLX Type S, the BMWs, even the Audis is that right there, naturally aspirated V8 power, V8 goodness. First of all, let's talk about the engine cover. Love the style. You do have some faux carbon fiber, but it's nothing too gaudy. All the sexiness, 
F Sport badge and then take a look at that goodness. That is the intake plenum, the actual intake plenum for this V8. Love seeing those details. That is what being a car enthusiast is all about. You can see the large throttle body where that air is going to be rammed into that intake plenum for the naturally V8 goodness. And what are we talking about? We're talking about five liters of displacement is going to give us 472 horsepower, 395 pound feet of torque. You compare that to the TLX Type S, you have way more horsepower. That vehicle has 355 horsepower. A BMW M340i, you're looking at around 386 horsepower. So even more than that vehicle. It is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission, which if you're comparing that to the German Euros, that's right on par, same amount of gears. Obviously it's not a ZF eight speed automatic. This is one specific to Lexus. The TLX Type S has a 10 speed. Zero to 60 in this vehicle is gonna be around 4.6 seconds. MPGs, 16 in the city, 24 on the highway. And like I was saying, just looking underneath the hood, seeing that big V8, you do have your adaptive dampers. You can see your shock absorber top mounts here with the wires for those adaptive dampers, all four corners. And then one other little detail I wanna point out before we hear the roar of this at Lexus is you have this air intake here. Air is going to ram in, go into the air box, into that massive throttle body, and down those intake runners. But let's get to that point. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's hear the roar of this IS500. guys we're inside this 2022 lexus is 500 f sport performance i know you're saying to yourself well joe i loved your tlx type s review from laguna seca i really really am excited for that vehicle i'm thinking about buying one i want to know how much this one is well here's the good news and here's the bad news you already know the price for the tlx type s that's the good news the bad news is Toyota does not have pricing. Lexus does not have pricing yet for this particular model, but stay tuned. That will be coming. We are going to be doing a part two. Don't worry about that. But why don't we go ahead? Let's see. Comparing this to the TLX Type S, comparing this to the German Euro brands, let's see what Lexus is bringing to the table to the door panels. Absolutely love the two-tone color motif in here. Now, many people would say that the interior of the Lexus is the most dated, but you know what? It still looks super clean. Soft touch material up top. I'm absolutely digging the red. The red is the way I would go, especially with our metallic gray Lexus IS500. No gloss black. You have this nice, almost like a gunmetal gray finish around the switch gear, flat black on the sides. And then as you drop down, you do have that nice large door pocket. Easily get a Chipotle burrito with extra guac and a nice tall glass bottle of Mountain Dew to wash it all down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, it is still dated. Let me know what you think. I am still digging it, so I'm fine with it, but let me know if you zonk this interior. I think that the soft touch material is wonderful. That red stitching works well with the rest of the red color in here. The AC vents have a nice dark silver trim around them. And then as we slide across, you are getting that iPad style infotainment system. Now the good news is it's over 12 inches of visual pleasure. When you're comparing that to the TLX Type S, you're getting an extra two inches. Imagine how easy life would be if you could get an extra two inches that simple. But the other big news is guess what? What do we have? We have touchscreen capability. You don't get that in your Lexus. And if you're comparing this to the German Euro brands, yes, you have touch screens, but they're not as large as this 12.3 inch. You got your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, navigation, of course. I'll throw it in the reverse. Nice large backup camera with trajectory, and you got 360 camera protection. So they got you covered there. You don't get 360 cameras in the TLX Type S, 
put it back in a park, I bring up the menu, and now you can just simply go into your climate control, whatever you wanna do, you can adjust it on the screen. It's actually clear graphics and it's actually simple to use. Working our way down, you got your start stop button, highly uh, placed, easy to get to, and then I love the way they did these AC vents. I know many people would say, hey Joe, they've been around for a long time, still looking great with that analog clock, that red soft touch, that new Lux material, very, very soft touch, really elevates the whole level and feel, and then you're gonna get dual climate control, like the way it's got the sliding temperature sl uh, selections over here, real easy to do. Rest are all flat black buttons. You do have some gloss black, but the great news is you're not really touching the gloss black, and it does not give you glare when the sun's out, which is really good news. We do have a CD player, so hey, listen to Beastie Boys, listen to Pearl Jam, maybe some Poison, run DMC, knock yourself out, we, because you have the Mark Levinson sound system, that optional sound system, gonna give you wonderful, clear audio tunes as you're going down the road. We got heated seats, ventilated seats, this is gonna control that eight speed automatic, like all the fine touches. You have your control knob here for the different modes. We're going Sport Plus. You know how we do it here on Rady's Rides. There's even a snow mode. And then this is the one thing that most people are gonna zonk, including myself, is the trackpad. Not the easiest to use, but it's great that you could use the touch screen. Two cup holders, that wonderful soft touch material. Pick it up, what do we got? You could easily put, I would say, eight king size Snickers bars, two USBs, an aux jack, and a 12 volt. Closing it up, seats, spot on the money. Love the material, that nice cherry red, perforated with the bolstering, all comfortable, full electric assist for the passenger and the driver, and then up top, you do have your standard size sunroof. I know it would be nice to have a panoramic sunroof, but the standard size sunroof fits it just fine. Come on over here to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of our IS500 F Sport performance. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of this IS500 F Sport. Love the very, very tasteful aluminum sill panel with that F Sport badge. And I'm telling you right now, Lexus does one of the best foot boxes in the business. Nice, large dead pedal, brushed aluminum, brake and throttle, looking really clean. You got your seat controls that are easy to get to. Work that lower lumbar into play. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom, even with the sunroof. Steering wheel, not a sexy flat bottom, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have to be a bad wheel. It's still very, very well done. The red stitching reminds me of a baseball. Two different styles of leather really elevates the feel. It's a nice soft touch with the F Sport badging at the bottom. You got your flat black buttons. Paddles are a little bit of a letdown. I wish they would have went with metal paddles, but you do have plastic paddles that go up and down the eight-speed automatic. It is manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel, but the great news is you're gonna get a little bit of LFA in this IS500. That is an eight-inch TFT display that is just like in the LFA. What I love is the information. You got all of your uh, RPM, your speedometer, when you change the modes, look what it does. It actually changes the face of the tech. And we're gonna be going Sport Plus, and then on top of that, watch this, you ready for magic? It's the moving dial. Love that technology, and then you could scroll through a whole plethora of information, including temperature gauge, obviously, your G meter, and gear indicator. So nice to have all of that great flexibility and great technology, but why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy going down the twisty bits with you in this IS500 F Sport Performance. Guys, back seat time in this Lexus IS500 F Sport Performance. When you're comparing this to the TLX Type S, when it comes to back seat room, you're actually getting more in the Type S. So one thing to be aware of, still though, if you're comparing this to a G70, Genesis G70, you're getting more room in this IS500. It's gonna be on par with the M340i. Stinger GT is gonna have more room, just like the TLX Type S, but let's see what you got back here. You have that wonderful new Lux interior all the way around, nice large pockets. Put a couple silver dollar pancakes back there and a bottle of syrup. That's gonna make your drive that much more enjoyable. You have your two AC vents, little on the small side, no controls, but at least they bring some AC back here for you. I have my own uh, 
pocket over here, I'd rather have some French toast. I'm in the mood for some French toast or some nice Belgian waffles. But like I was saying, you still got plenty of room. I'm six feet tall. I am not touching the headliner. Pull it down. Armrest is on the hard side because they put the cup holders built into here. The one major zonk, no USB, no connectivity whatsoever back here. That to me is a big zonk. Plus up front, there's no wireless charging. You do get that in the TLX Type S, but you don't get it in this IS500. Both of them are even Stevens because neither of them have connectivity in the back seat. But let's go ahead, let's get to the trunk and see how they fair up against one another in this IS500 F Sport. All right guys, time to get into the trunk. You're just gonna hit that button. No electric assist, you're gonna have to use your own muscles, but the great news is you're gonna get a lot of usable room. 17 cubic feet of space. The seats do a full 60-40 split. And that's one thing that's interesting because on this vehicle, compared to the TLX Type S, remember the TLX Type S has bracing at the back end of the vehicle to stiffen it up and that kind of hinders the use of that pass-through where on this IS500, you don't have that issue. So the seats can fully fold down and you can get those longer objects in and out. Now, the other piece of good news, lift up the cargo liner and what do you have? You do have a spare. Lots of performance sedans are getting rid of spare tires. So it's nice to see that they did take care of you there. When it comes to making sure that you're gonna be able to get home in case you do have a flat, I know you are dying for the on-throttle action, so am I. Stay tuned for part two. It's gonna happen September 10th at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Set your watch because we're gonna go on-throttle and find out truly, is this the IS500 that you need to be getting? All right, guys, it's been one heck of a day showcasing this IS500 F-Sport performance to you, for you. Definitely wanna thank Zach, Ryan and everybody over at Toyota and Lexus for allowing Radies Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. Stay tuned, mark your calendar, set your alarm, set your watch, set your sundial for September 10th at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna have part two, full driving, full pricing, and all the on-throttle goodness that you could ever want with this IS500 F-Sport performance. Let me know what you think. Would you rather go this route over the TLX Type S? Would you go the IS500 over one of those German Euro brands? I'm very curious to know what you think. Put it in the comment section. If you wanna keep seeing amazing performance sedans, and I know that you do, but put that in the comment section as well. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, Click the first link in the description, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it out to the muscle behind the camera. She's got the camera goodness. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.